SEO is something that I have neglected for years. The reason is it's time consuming or very expensive because either I or one of the team who works for me can spend hours and hours and hours creating content with the hope that it might bring in traffic. Or the other option is we pay thousands and thousands of pounds to an SEO agency in the hope that they can create articles that will bring in traffic. Now, I've tried the second method. So I have hired an SEO agency in the past and spent a lot of money with them and not got any results. So in this video, I'm going to see if SEO can be done by artificial intelligence using two tools, one which is called SEO.ai and another which is called ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is a new open AI project. What it does is it allows you to ask this artificial intelligence questions and it will help answer them for you. It will write things for you. It will provide facts and figures for you. And really the uses are almost limitless. But for the purposes of this video, Video, let's see if I can do that. So I'm going to show you this process step by step because I've actually been doing this for our business. I have been churning out SEO optimized content in a fraction of the time that it used to take me. So let's dive in. So the first step is I use this program called SEO.ai. And what I do here, I'll just title the document. So I'll call this one, um, how to make your book news worthy. So this is one that we are working on for our publishing business. So what you can see here is the first thing I do is I put in the target keywords on the right hand side. And then what it does is it will go away and tell me, okay, look, here are all of the keywords you need to mention. Here are the general kind of search intents that people are looking for. And you need to write at least 1,300 words to match the content depth of other pages that are ranking well. So that's all done for me. All I had to do was put this in. Next thing is I click in here and then it's going to give me some suggestions for a title. So let's go with how to make your book newsworthy. So we'll go with that one. And then the first thing you can do, so this also has artificial intelligence built in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask it to write an introduction for me. It's going to go ahead and write an introduction. So you can see that happening now. So there we go. The next thing we can do is we can click on here and we can ask it to suggest some titles. It's going to now go ahead and suggest some things we could talk about. So here we go. Crafting a book that captivates, you know, get your book noticed, writing a book that makes headlines. Those are always pretty good. And then what you can do is you can use built-in AI on SEO.ai. I found that hasn't been the best. So what I have been doing instead is I will go make your book stand out. But instead, I'll go to chat GPT. So you can see chat.openai.com forward slash chat. And I can ask it questions. So what I might say is give me five tips to make my book news worthy. So PR people at newspapers will be interested. And then it's going to come out with a range of different ideas. There you go. You can see it's come up with five. Uh, of course, those are pretty basic. So what I'm going to say is, can you elaborate on step one? So now it's going to elaborate on this first point and it's going to give me more information about that. So you can see it's writing it all for me at the moment. And then all I'm going to do is when it's finished. So now that it's finished, let's replace this because I actually like this better. So what I'm going to do is use this as the main title. So that's going to be make sure your book addresses the current issue or trend. Copy this and then I'm going to pop it in there. And then as you can see, so it started to give me an SEO score here because what I need to do is I need to mention certain words for the SEO purposes. And of course, I need to get it to a certain word count. So what I'm going to do is repeat that process the whole way through step by step and then of course at the end I should have a finished article so I'm going to do the same thing so I'm going to say here can you elaborate on step two and it's going to do the same thing again so it's going to tell me you know why and then of course I'm not just going to take what it's written verbatim so this just very much gives me an outline this gives me ideas it's almost like having an editor that I can just bounce ideas off constantly and work with throughout basically you'll never end up with a writer's block again <laughs> when you are using this process. So again, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one, copy that, and I'm going to replace it again because I prefer this. Then what I'm going to do is copy this again. And you can see there's a few similarities in terms of how it has created that content. So that's why I say you need 
need to go ahead and make some edits so you don't just want to copy it exactly how it is. So now that I've queried it for step two, what I'm going to do is come back here and of course paste that into what I've written here. So I'm just going to clear out some Bits. So that was the first bit that it did for us. Here we are on the second bit. I'm just going to paste that in, of course, tidy it up again. And then so you can see how quickly you can put this together. You can see how the SEO score keeps improving. And then you can see, you know, how your word count is doing to make sure that it's got enough depth. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll finish this article off and then I'll show you the finished version. Okay, so as you've seen, I of course started writing the article and then it took me about five, 10 minutes just to polish it off. So what I did was I asked ChatGPT to elaborate on a few of the topics and give me some more information. I made a few edits as well to the content. There are a few instances where things have been worded a certain way and I adjusted it. But to give you an idea, this whole process to create a completely SEO optimized article has maybe taken about 10 to 15 minutes in total. You can see the full article here and you can see the SEO score here on the right hand side. So it's at about 93%. Got the H1 recommendation covered. We've got all these semantic keywords covered. And then we've also beaten the competitive word counts. We've got a much better word count. So all these things are looking good. Then there's the article itself. So we've got all of the content here. As you can see, I've elaborated on these different subheadings and we've got, you know, all the things a press kit might include, a conclusion. So you can see a fully formed article. What I'm going to do next is, of course, post that article on a blog. It's absolutely incredible to me that this has just taken 10 to 15 minutes to build this SEO optimized article. Article. My goal going forward for our publishing company is actually to do one of these per day. So you can see how powerful this can be if it just takes 10 to 15 minutes to create this type of content that is hopefully SEO optimized. It could transform things. So make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and you got value. Subscribe and follow along because I'm going to do a follow up video to this where we go into the results of this. So to see did it have an actual impact on our SEO? Are we getting more leads? Is the business growing? as a result of using this marketing strategy. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.